Today I'm going to start over as Naruto in Shindu life. I'll be going from an oop to awakening baryon mode. But before we get into the video, only a small percentage of you guys are subscribed. So make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. It takes a few seconds and really helps out. And comment below who I should start over as next in Shindu life. But with all of that out of the way, let's get into the video. Before I do anything I'm going to change my mentor to Narumaki to truly be like Naruto. Narumaki's mentor stats are based around Nunjutsu and Chi, so I'll have the faster and passive Chi regeneration and Chi dash. Now it's time to rank up and start grinding for Baryon mode. For my move set I'll be using Wind and Razen Shuriken. Throughout the video I'll be getting Naruma key bloodline moves and the Baruto companion with the ultimate goal of getting Berry on mode. From now on I'll be using my 9 tails mode until I get the Naruma key mode. Every 100 levels I'll go to the next stage since I already have the mastered 9 tails cloak from previous videos. Now I finally have an Aruma key mode so now I can level up Naruma key even faster and defeat bosses easier. Here I finally got level 1000. And here I unlock the third move for Naruma key. Now that I have the Baruma key companion it's time to level it up. I finally have every Naruma key move so now all I have to do is get the Naruma key mode. Although it might take a while since we need Naruma key level 1500. So I finally awakened Barry on mode. Now let's test the mode out on some bosses and players.
Well we tested out Baryon mode on a boss. So let's go fight some players with it. Although Baryon Mode and Narumaki aren't the best for PvP, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of this type of content make sure to comment below what I should start over as next. And before the video ends, I'm going to go on a bit of a rant on the state of Shindu life. I've played Shindu life since the game first released, and I somehow have kept on playing the game. But now it has been genuinely hard to play it. I'm going to keep this as quick as possible. So I can talk about it in a different video. So I'm just going to give a quick rundown of my thoughts. Shindu Life's PvE has always been bad. The NPC don't take stun. Don't drag doll. And bosses literally don't get affected by anything. And because of this 99% of the moves in the game are horrible for PvE. Or literally don't work. And since PvE is something everyone has to do, new or old player, this is one of the main reasons the game is dying. PvE is too confusing for any new player to figure out without outside help, and old players are sick of the same boss grinding, so they just quit. And this isn't even the tip of the iceberg. But anyway, that is really all I have to say for now. I'll have a video discussing the state of the game talking about PvE, PvP, and really everything coming soon.